Hello YouTube gardeners! In this video we're going to be sharing how we make our heavy-duty raised beds. It may be a little more expensive in materials over the lightweight raised beds that you see out there, but it definitely has its advantages. So we spend a little extra on materials to make sure that we have structures that are going to last us a very, very long time. This particular raised bed is a 4 by 8 You can see we've got some melons cascading out over the side. Got this beautiful cherry tomato plant. Got hundreds of cherry tomatoes growing. Got lots and lots of peppers and chilies in this bed. We've got some onions. Over on the other side here we have strawberries and this beautiful watermelon cascading out over the side. So lots of stuff growing in this raised bed. And now we're getting ready to build a 4x4. Same design. It's going to be our potato bed, just like this one. We have a potato bed over here. We're going to build one more so that we can grow more potatoes. And we're going to share the design and the materials. So stay tuned.
And here we are. He's got all of the pieces bolted together and put into the post hole locations. You can see that he's put some dirt around it. And then we also have a bunch of decomposed granite down at the bottom for drainage. You could see the wire mesh. So these are finishing touches. He puts lots of this wire mesh at the bottom because we started having gopher problems. So that detours the gophers. And then he adds these PVC pieces and you could see that they're bracketed. So he has a PVC piece here, comes in and mounts it to the post. And then I'm able to use it as a greenhouse or fix a shade cloth over it. I'll come over to another raised bed to show you how I'm doing the shade cloth. We just love these raised beds and the wood that he uses is so beautiful. Here it's nice and fresh and light. You could see all of the different grain and knots, but as it weathers, it even gets more beautiful come over to an older bed you can see this bed here it's so pretty it's very very attractive raised beds it's wet so it's darker than it normally is this bed right here isn't as old this is probably maybe eight months old so you could see from this light wood to this it's already darkening up and just getting more beautiful so very very attractive heavy duty raised beds come on over here and show you how we're doing the shade cloth so same as the other one he has the pvc mounted down in here and then i have the pvc pipe you see it just lifts in and out so if I want these in here then great for the shade cloth or to turn into a greenhouse otherwise I could remove them and then I just get these little shower curtain clips from Ace Hardware they come 12 to a pack and they're very inexpensive a couple bucks I feed it through the shade cloth Let's see here and then just clip them over the piping, the PVC pipe. And it makes for an excellent shade cloth. And just one last thing that I'll share. These tomato trellises work really great. You can see here that the tomatoes just feed themselves through the, the lattice trellis. And it really holds them up. And as they get tall, they kind of just drape over it. So. I really like them and they fit perfectly in the 4x8 bed. They're very inexpensive and easy to install. Another easy do-it-yourself trellis idea. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoy your week and enjoy your garden.